All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mods 9. Guys, today we got some fun stuff planned. We're going to be automating some inscribers. Last episode, we fixed up, uh, we, we did some fun stuff up above. Yeah, we did the, um, yeah, this guy, the ME controller with all of the, whatchamacallits, molecular assemblers and pattern providers. Yeah, looks pretty cool. We also set up uh, furnaces over here and these guys, which uh, unfortunately I haven't found a way to get power to these guys wirelessly. I was hoping we'd be able to do that with uh, Ender IO, but it's not working. But that's fine. So we will go ahead and continue. We're going to be using these laser nodes from Laser IO. Um, I saw a very, very cool way to automate. Um, applied energistics with these so that's what we're going to be doing today um yeah i don't know exactly where we're going to put it we may put it over on this wall or over here or over here um i think we might put it on onto this wall here wouldn't be the worst idea in the world but yeah i've seen a couple of designs for this using laser io and i think it's amazing i believe dire wolf is actually the one who's working on it if i'm not mistaken if i am please correct me um but yeah we need to make this here we should have a logic chip yep the logic chips are done good so now we can make this guy okay we made 64 of them and then we should be able to make 60 no we need some glass panes what a pain okay we should have a stack of these guys cool okay so oh my this is interesting. <laughs> Let's see if we can get this to work. Okay. Okay, so I am pretty sure that we can set this up to be like a three by three over here. And I think I'm gonna raise this up by one. Um, and we'll have the inscribers like this here. And then we can put this down below. Okay. So, First of all, I want to go ahead and see the process in which to automate this. Um, now I'm pretty sure it's, it's actually fairly easy with this. So let me see if I can walk you guys through in a, in a good way. Okay, so this is the start and this should be the end. Um, Scriber. So West. Okay, so logic's gonna be, or sorry, silicon's gonna be there. Logic's gonna be here. So down, maybe I need to make a laser wrench. I, I've never used this mod before, so please bear with me. We're trying to figure it out. Um, oh, okay. So maybe, maybe we need a couple of item cards. Okay, so I'm not too sure how this works. Is there a book? Okay, maybe maybe we make the book real quick. I didn't realize there was a book for this mod. All right, give me a second. Okay, so this took some doing. Um, it's important to, you know, link each of these together. All you have to do is shift right click the first one. I just shift right click this one, then clicked here, then shift right click, then clicked here, and then these were all linked together. Uh, so essentially what I have going on um, is so from the chest on the west, it takes out... Um, the gold, the silicone, and the redstone, uh, but it only uh, pushes the silicone down and then it extracts, I have a item filter in here, I'll show you how it works. So you take an item card um, and then you throw in a basic filter. <coughs> you throw in a basic filter and then you can set this to extract or uh, to insert. I didn't realize there were these other options. I guess that's cool. But yeah, so then you set it to say like, hey, I only want it to extract these when it's done or something along the lines of that, or I only want it to insert this. Um, so yeah, it's super awesome and compact. Um, and then so here I have it just setting up for the logic processors. So I guess now um, we need to find a way to make this into a vertical um, situation. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna to try to do this one with you guys. So I've decided we're gonna do, do these vertically and we're gonna set up three rows kind of like this. Um, so we'll set it up so that the uh, and the applied energistics 
cable kind of comes through here and then we can just put on a facade in front of it. Uh, so it'll power it and we'll be able to take our items out. So it'll be two birds, one stone. Um, and then we'll have to kind of loop it up around here and kind of do the same on just uh, putting items in with the pattern provider. So uh, this is how it's kind of going to look. So I went ahead and smelted up a bunch of stuff so we can make more of these item cards. So we're just going to focus on the couple that we have. Um, and I'm just going to set up another logic one. We're going to move the logic one to here. So the inscriber will go here like so. Um, the other two we can just put in here for now. Um, so silicone has to go into that. So what we need to do is set the up direction um, item filter, uh, extract, default up. And we can do this, this, and this. So these are going to be filtered um, to get pulled out on that. So if we do this, that did not go into the up area. That's fine. Okay, so we are pulling items from the top chest. That's what we have set up here. Uh, and then we're going to interact with the... Um, the inscriber for the item filter. So what we're going to do is put in another basic filter. We're going to put in the silicone to insert. Um, oops, not that one. And then I believe, is this the one with the filter in it? Yes. Okay. So two here, we're going to have insert be there. So that should be inserting here. And then we're also going to need to set up an extraction. I need to get one more piece of silicone. All right, so we have the printed silicone. This is uh, really needed for <clears throat> being able to take the items out. So we're gonna filter it so that only the printed silicone is gonna be able to be taken out. And so we can do that like so. So now it's, it's pulling in here, putting into there, taking it back out, and now we're here. Um, I don't know if it's necessary, but I have always kind of set these up, or I've been setting them up so that it allows for this to go through, this to go through, and for this to go through. So then down, we put this guy here to insert the kind of push. Um, so now that we have this, we need to interact with the inscriber. So we're gonna grab another item card. We're gonna put a basic filter in it, and we're just gonna allow gold to go into the inscriber. Nope, not the gold. Perfect. The item card. And now we need to set this up to extract, but we need to get another piece of gold. So we're going to need two pieces of everything. And the reason for that is we need the printed version to be able to extract. So um, this should still have a decent amount of power logic, so I can throw this in. It's done. We can take those back out. And so now we can set up a filter to only take out... Where did I not grab? Oh, we got put it in here. Okay. So, yeah. So we'll set up the filter to only take out the printed logic circuit. So now we can grab it and we're going to take that from here. Perfect. And then we're going to go down and this is where we're going to add another item filter. I don't know if this is entirely necessary, but we're going to do it anyway just to be safe. So now we can allow redstone, printed logic circuit, and printed silicone to go through and be inserted into the one below, just like so. And now we need one more item card, which I think, yeah, insert. So printed silicone, printed silicone, and redstone. And we are going to put that here with the item card. So now it's pushing it into there. So we need two more item cards. All right, so we're going to be extracting here, and we're going to put the filter in. We're extracting out the logic processor, so we are set. Oops, not like that. I keep clicking it automatically. We're going to pull it out, and for the second item card, we're going to filter the logic processor, and then we can link it to the chest. So that's all set up. Now we take the wrench, click here. We click here and now these are linked together so if we throw this in here we should see it pop up here perfect and if we throw the silicone here we should see it in here yep there we go perfect and we're good so that means this guy is working properly so now i get to duplicate this two more times so looking forward to that oh yeah 
So I'll be back once I finish this. Okay, so I just actually tested it out and I don't have any filters going in between the nodes um, and they all seem to be working properly. So all I have is ins insert and extract on each of these and the only exception is with the chests. Um, I do have an extraction for the chest to pull certain items out. So. Um, but yeah, it seems to be working really good once these are connected up to power uh, and I believe once we connect them to the network They will connect to each other so we don't have to worry about that, but these are working really well So yeah, very very happy about that This is gonna look really nice from the front and then we can always throw in the speed upgrades um, wherever I put them if I were to do speed upgrades into any of them, it would be these three because these will allow us to actually make more speed upgrades so these are going to be the first ones to have them but yeah they're all on their separate little network so what i'm going to go ahead and do now is finish up with the engineering processors and we will be all set okay so i'm pretty sure we got everything taken care of now so what i'm going to do is we are going to make three different we're just going to send it we're going to make three stacks of each real quick um, so that means we need a stack of that, a stack of that, and then a stack of diamonds. And we're going to throw all of these in here. So this is for the diamonds. This is for, oops, here. And then this is for the logic. So let's see here. Um, cool, cool. So now we're going to run a cable. I think we should just run the cable down this one if we can. So we're gonna need to make some more dense cables. I'm out of power in my jetpack. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to make some more. Can we make another stack of these? We sure can, that's what we're gonna do. Cool beans. Okay, so I think we're gonna use some green networking cable and this will be just for, or this is lime. This will be just for the, in, inscribers actually this could be for a lot of things it doesn't have to be just for one but we're gonna start up a new channel because the other one's only got 16 channels available and I misplaced that it looks terrible I haven't slept in a couple of days I guess. okay so we've got some pretty easy access to this one so I think we're gonna use it ouch they're chomping me I'm gonna, or he is I'm gonna die I'll we'll just go to sleep. Okay, so now is the fun part where import bus, boom, boom, boom. Uh, oh, we do need some lime cable. Okay, so we've got some lime cable over here. So now we can connect these. Once these connect, you, yep, we're seeing all of them kind of start to, start to go. Perfect. All right, and so now we're gonna do the ME patterns. Boom, boom, boom. We'll go boom, boom, boom. And then we can get rid of this guy. Then we can place some of these back. Booyah, that's looking awesome. So I'm gonna do a little bit of that for now. And then I guess make it look decent like so. But yeah, there we go. These guys are automated and they should be getting pulled out. They sure are. Booyah. Oh man, that is so cool. These are, it's 100% automated just through these guys. It's very simple and fairly easy to do. It's not rocket science at all. I am going to take out the extra materials. Um, I don't want them just sitting in here. So yeah, I'll let these run for a bit. Once they're done, we'll, we'll finish it up. All right, so currently we've got this thing all polished up. It looks awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, you can't see behind it, but that's not really the end of the world. Um, I could just come back here. And yeah, that's the reason why I had shaders off for a while. And we could just do something like this to kind of close it in. And that way it doesn't look as crazy. But yeah, this is 100% uh, ready to be automated. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's set up some some patterns here. So we're gonna need some redstone, silicone. We'll need gold. 
Sirtis Quartz and Diamonds. So we need one of each. All right, so boom, boom, and then we need the processors. Okay, and so we put in gold like this. We do that, that gives us this. Then we replace these two, put this here, put this here. That gives us those, get rid of those. And we put in the diamond and the engineering and we get that, cool. So diamond chest, I'm pretty sure these are gonna be what we're looking for, but oh, I shouldn't have done that because so over here we'll put logic, over here we'll put that, and over here we'll put that. Now we can connect these back in and put the facades back on. Oh yeah, so those should be good to go. And now when we check for processors. We can see that they now have a little star, so we can make more. And if we come over here, we can see it's working, maybe? Wow, that's just really slow. It's putting the redstone in first. Hmm, maybe we can find a way to speed these up. Now it goes the silicone and the gold. Huh, okay. Well, that's good. Uh, can't see. Hmm. Let's see if we can get like a the overclocking thing. Oh, those are card overclockers. I need the other thing. We need the node overclockers. Okay, that should be a fair amount. So, oh, it only does it per side. I see. I see. Okay. Oh. Wow, was it was it that much faster to put those overclock upgrades? Okay, let's see here. Hmm, okay, so I'm gonna have to take the cards out and we're gonna have to put in a whole bunch of them for these guys. Let's see here, what if we just did this guy? Oh. Huh, I guess that's as fast as it's gonna go. I mean, that got it out pretty quick. No way, you can see the items going. Oh man, that is cool looking. I wonder why that's so slow. Maybe it's the speed at which things can be put in. Let's try, let's try doing this. Nope, oh, not there. So we'll put these in. I'm just, I guess we're just gonna have to do it for all of them. Okay, so I tried to speed everything up. It doesn't seem to be working all that well, um, but that's that's totally fine. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing okay. We got everything crafted up. We don't have to worry about doing anything super fast, and that's totally fine. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can craft up a 64K. And we're missing quartz glass. Okay, well, let's have a look here. Quartz glass, applied energistics two. Booyah. Let me put that into a molecular assembler. So now we should be able to make a 64K just like that. Let's have a look. Yep, it's crafting up. Okay, that was too easy. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's see if we can make 10. Okay. Yep, okay. So we're we're crafting up some of these guys. I think, oh, I guess not, not yet. That's fine, but it is working everyone. We are able to auto craft some really cool things, but that's gonna wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always guys, don't forget to subscribe, but this has been Super Turtle and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, peace out, bye-bye.